you in what Father God did when he sent his son to that cross for me. There's a value. And it's very hard to understand the value of what that was. But when you know that God does, is, he is righteous and there is wrath. And people have suffered wrath because they've turned away from the salvation of his son, his only begotten son, which he gave. Why would he do that? Why would he make his son have such a miserable death, all right, for mankind, unless he really, really has the wrath that he wants to turn away his wrath from mankind. And he's saying, look up, look at my salvation message and accept that and believe it. And then you will have not, you will have blessings on your life and I will be with you and you will be with me. Otherwise you're lost and you're in darkness and you're in darkness, not just for this lifetime, you're in darkness for eternity, eternity. And, and we don't hear enough about the wrath of God many times over the years for 40 years as a, as a believer, I, you hear the blessings, you hear the love, you hear that God, God's promises, just believe and have faith. And you hear this and you hear this, but you never hear the value of what that cross represents to you as a person, that you don't have that wrath on you anymore, that you have now accepted the salvation that God has given mankind and that you don't have that wrath, that that wrath is real. It's in the Bible. We don't hear it enough. We don't hear about those people that were lost in the Bible because they turned from, from God. And so I consider today's message to me personally a beautiful blessing. And I'm very, very happy that I was able to hear that.